In Laravel, we use the blade file in order to display the information. For example, here you already know that the, in the resources folder there is a views folder and here we put all the blade files. I am going to create a blade file here, for example, home.blade.php. So blade file means you can easily represent your information or represent the data in front of user using the blade file, right? Here I am going to call here the home that means it will call the home.blade.php file and here it will be for example home page. Now if I run this in my browser then you will see that this is the home page. You already know that. So this is actually the information. I am going to tell you something more about the blade. For example, I want to pass the information into this blade that is home.blade.php. So my main concern is to discuss about the uh, blade files how we can represent the data there so here you see that if i want to represent some information for example i want to pass some data into the blade so here uh, for example i have a variable that's name is data and here or here i can also alternately i am going to give here the name here so the name variable right so here i am going to put my name here and this name i am going to pass into the home view so here in order to represent the data i am going to use the double curly brace and just put the name here so here if i refresh the data you see that if i refresh the page you see that the my name is showing here so it is working perfectly so in this way i can pass the data from here you know, from the route into the view so in the view we can represent the data easily like this or alternately what we could do that is we could just use like this both the things will actually output the same result right but the recommendation is this because i am going to use the blade file so as we will use the laravel standard so we will always create a blade.php file and we will put all the data to represent in front of user using the double curly brace right so i am not going to show it here but here i am going to tell you another one thing that is you see that there is a double curly brace when you will send the data uh, when you will represent the data in front of user you are going to use the starting double curly brace and ending double curly brace so actually what is the equivalent of it in php in php we wrote like this right echo then variable name but there is a slight difference here the blade curly brace that we uh, show here what it actually does this echo statement it is actually the echo statement in the blade file right so this echo equivalent that means it is also we can tell that this is the echo statements actually this automatically sent the data that we pass here that is in the name variable it is actually uh, actually sent through the php html cares function that means in order to prevent the xss attack in order to prevent the xss attack what we do in php normally we use to represent the data using html a special cares this is a built-in function you know so here this is the actually the built-in function html special cares in order to prevent the xss attack so this double curly brace means this equivalent so this double curly brace automatically do the prevention against the xss that means if you write in php equal html special cares then parameter is name that means if a person want to show something uh, is uh, bad things some bad input then it can easily uh, remove the special cares that we use in php there are many special cares that means i am not going to uh, to discuss about the security issue here just remember that in order to prevent the excesses attack we normally use this function so this equivalent is actually this double curly brace if i use double curly brace it automatically uh, do this escape task so i hope you have understood how i worked here but actually this is not needed i am going to remove because we will not use that so we will use this thing normally here another one thing to discuss with you is that 
uh, you see that the variable that comes here that is coming from my route right in the route i take the information and then i pass this here into the view when you will learn controller then you will see that in the methods of controller we will call the view so from there the information will actually come into the blade file so in the blade file we can also use any php functions for example the name you see that here that is my name this one if i want that i will filter it more for example str2 upper it is a php building function i want to filter my information using this variable so this is also possible so if i refresh you see that all the letters are now in uppercase letter so in this way you can call any function that supports php that means any php function you can call the current timestamp value if i want to show then i can easily use the time function this is the php building function so i will just write it into the double curly brace now if i just refresh you see that the current timestamp value is showing here so in this way you can take the advantage of the blade file very easily i hope you have understood what i have shown in this lecture